All right, folks, it's your boy Charles Barkley, and today I got a box of Yu Yu Hakusho, the collectible card game for Universal Fighting System, also better known as Universes, and thus that means you guessed it, these cards are legal with My Hero Academia in the standard format. So let's crack open this box and see what I get. I've never actually seen a Yu Yu Hakusho card in person before. So let's, uh, let's find out. All right. We got a box topper. The Dark Tournament looms. Uh, it's an action. E, remove your, uh, add one card from your momentum to your hand, draw one card. All right, that's actually pretty sick. And then, just like the My Hero packs, they do have skulls on them for redemption. So I can mail these in for uh, additional promos. So, let's, uh, start cracking. All right, these do not have the rip tabs, so I'll be doing it the classic way. All right, we got a precise blow. That's a three difficulty, three control, plus one mid block, one mid for three. It's a reversal weapon with combo reversal. After you block with this card, there's a response. Seal the blocked attack and your opponent adds the top card of their deck to the card, pool face down. That's pretty cool. Combo E. Change the tax zone to high or low, and it gets plus three damage. Nice. I dig it. It's a cool gimmick. And we got the Prism of Seven. It's a ally foundation, two five. Add one character card from your removed from the game pile to your hand or momentum. Your charge or gauge attack gets plus one speed. Interesting. Hate fish. It's a four diff, three control check uh, with a two low block. It's a one low for seven. Ally safe, which means it can't be reversed. Double the next speed or damage bonus this attack receives. Only playable if this card is immediately preceded by an attack or a face down card. Well, that's neat. E. If your opponent is at desperation, this attack gets plus two speed. So if they're in desperation, this could immediately be a uh, plus five, sp or a five speed seven. That ain't bad at all. Then I have a ultra rare, the Psychic Spirit Glass. Your opponent reveals their hand. Choose one card revealed this way. Your opponent cannot play the chosen card for the rest of the turn. Ooh, that's cool. All right, then we got Friends and Rivals. It's a two diff for five with a two low block. Ally. After you play an attack that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, your opponent commits two foundations. Oh, that's legit. Hmm. All right, let's do... Uncommons, ultras, rares, commons. All right, next pack. Partners in crime. After you play an attack that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, reveal the top three cards of your deck and put them back in any order. Oh, that's that's legit. Uh, e, discard one momentum. Your opponent discards one momentum. That's not bad either. And the fact that that one isn't even a commit... All right, so you can just keep people out of momentum as long as you have some. Yeah, I'd play that, All right? Bug spray. Three uh, diff, three check, three high for two, reversal, safe with stun one. Uh, e, your opponent discards one random card. If they have three or fewer cards in their hand, they draw one card. Oh, that's pretty awesome. And this, if this attack does damage, your opponent loses two vitality. 
So if they actually take it, they take two extra. Awesome. All right, Jagan form two five. Uh, while this card is in, is ready, you may look at your opponent's face downs. Okay, that's interesting. Once per attack step or enhanced step, after your attack receives a speed bonus, it gets plus one uh, damage, and your opponent reveals one random card from their hand. Hmm, that's uh, pretty cool. And a rare mop strike. It's a four three desperation three weapon. So it's a four high for four with plus one mid block. Uh, discard one card. Your opponent discards one random card. Both players draw one card. Uh, and if your opponent has discarded a card, card that don't turn its turn, draw one card. So you'll be able to discard one to draw two, and your opponent has to discard a random and replace it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. Good way to push them through things that you know they're holding. Lightning Torque. There's at least two character cards in your staging area or discard pile. This attack gets plus three damage. It's a four, three with two mid for four damage. Neat. Life Force Threatened. Whoa. All right, so it's a five uh, diff, four mid for eight ranged throw. It's a big old throw. If this attack has received a speed and damage bonus, your next attack gets plus three speed, plus one damage. <laughs> Real good. If this attack is not blocked at the top card of your deck to momentum. Nice. That's a common. All right, healing powers. Uh, our flip, after your opponent gains vitality, gain three vitality. Our destroy, after your opponent adds one or more cards to their momentum during the combat phase, discard the added cards. Your opponent may add the top card of their deck to their momentum during the end phase. So you could temporarily deny them the momentum. Neat. Also, it is a uh, six diff, or six control. That's pretty cool. Uh, launching whip strike. It's a five three, five low for four. Deadlock stun three, reversal weapon. Uh, your turn. If this attack gains stun two, it does damage, gain two vitality. Nice. Your next reversal this turn gets plus two, plus two. Uh, gross. Love it. Massive size. Ooh. Uh, it's a five diff foundation with five control. This card gets minus two difficulty if you have more vitality than your opponent. E commit. This attack gets plus X damage where X equals 10 minus your hand size. So you just commit this and if you're playing a five uh, a five hand sizer just for five damage. Uh, yeah, dig it. Love the card. And spirit slash. It's a four uh, control, four to three, four high for four with fury, safe, and weapon. After this card leaves your card pool during the combat phase, add the top card of your deck to your staging area face down. If you have more face down foundations than your opponent, this tech gets plus two speed and plus one damage. Alright. Next one. Alright, we got another hate fish. Another partners in crime. Tiger Claws, huh? It's a three diff for three. Three, three. So it's threes everywhere, except for that nice block. Breaker one and ranged. Uh, e, discard the top three cards of your deck. The attack gets a speed bonus equal to the highest printed on a foundation in either player's staging area. Okay, so that could easily be, if you're playing with like that massive size, a plus five speed bonus. So this becomes an eight three. That's nice. E lose two vitality. Your opponent flips one foundation. All right, not bad. And Storm of Torment. It's a five, uh, five diff, five mid for five. Charge, desperation for gauge for safe. All right. E, discard one momentum, search your deck for one character card that shares a name with your starting character, and add it to your state, your hand or staging area. So you can really be uh, stacking characters with this one. And if there are at least two character cards in your staging area or discard pile, discard this attack after it resolves. Alright, so yeah. 
stack your characters and then get to play this without having clogging. Dig it. That is a rare. We got another Spirit Slash. Another beautiful Life Force Thread. Another massive size. Beast of the Makai Whistle. It's a zero with a six check. Nice. Uh, you remove, add one card from your opponents, remove from the game pile to the top of their deck. Oh, that's a cool gimmick. Uh, e, flip, your attack gets minus two to its gauge rating. So let's search for characters easier. You may search your deck for one character card and add it to your discard pile. Cool. The second saintly beast. Two, five, breaker one. Uh, e, once per turn, discard the top three cards of your deck. This attack gets plus or minus two speed. Neat. Deadlock E, your opponent flips one foundation. <laughs> That's good deadlock. Another lightning torture. All right. Let's go into pack, the next pack here. All right, we got another Jagan form. And a, another precise blow. And a lightning shot. It's a four, uh, four to three control, four mid four, charge gauge three ranged with a plus one high. Uh, if it's in your card pool, you can respond. If your opponent readies one or more foundations due to an effect, flip one of them. Neat. E, this attack gets stun X, or X equals the number of character cards in your staging area and discard a pile, maximum three. So you can get stun three and yeah, that ain't bad. And we got an ultra rare, Prism Storm of Torment. It's a seven diff with seven high for seven, and it's three control with a plus one low. Ally, deadlock stun seven, gauge seven, ranged. So sevens everywhere. And if this is the seventh card you attempt to play this turn, it passes and gains seven speed. No check necessary. All right, wonderful. Love the meme of seven on here. Add all character cards that share a name with your starting character from your discard pile to your staging area. And you just get all the stacking right then and there. Even better. Protecting Yukina. Uh, discard one momentum. After you block with this card, the blocked attack does no damage. That's cool. Uh, e, destroy. Add the top card of your deck to momentum. Not bad. Sure, it's a four uh, control, but that's still very playable. Massive blow to go there. Massive size. It's a five, three high for eight. Fury, powerful three, stun one. E, discard the top three cards of your deck. If your printed vitality is greater than your opponent's, this attack gets plus two to its powerful rating. E, your opponent flips one foundation. Five powerful, yeah, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Another healing powers. The voice of reason, huh? Zero diff for the five check. Uh, once per turn, both players discard one card and draw one card. That's an interesting theme to have floating around this set. I dig it. Another Lightning Torture. Another Second Saintly Beast. Still no character cards yet. All right, let's do next pack. Speaking of the devil, there's Kurabara. He's a, you know, character card. He's a five-hander uh, with 32 health. So nice and thick. Uh, earth, good, water. Uh, commit one foundation as a response. Before the damage step of this attack, return to its printed damage. Neat. Uh, e once per turn after your attack resolves. Add to your staging area face down. All right, cool. And desperation E. Uh, once per turn, add one foundation from your staging area to your hand. So once you get under uh, the, your health minute for threshold, you can just start picking attacks back up. It's legit. Then we got a lightning shot. An aerial recon, huh? It's a 2-4 foundation with flip. After your opponent discards a card during the combat phase, look at their hand. Neat. So that's the way to use all those discards you're generating. After your opponent discards a card from their combat phase, during the combat phase, ready this foundation. Play old ball committed. All right, neat. So you can ready it numerous times with this setup. Ooh, 
the Toguro Brothers. It's an action. It's a 1-4. Ultra rare. After this card resolves, you may remove it or draw one card. Response. After an ability is played on an asset or foundation, cancel its effects and destroy it. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, I would love to see something like this. The fact that it replaces itself or clears card pool, and you can use it to stop assets and foundations. Very legit. Love it. Jagan Binding. It's a 4, uh, four, four, four mid. No block. Ooh. Uh, e, discard one momentum. Your attack, if your attack deals damage, add one card from your discard pile to your momentum. Well, that's legit. That's a, it's a throw. If this attack is not blocked, your next attack gets plus two speed. Also legit. So you're just threatening them with the throw. Spirit charge kick. It's a five difficulty, four high for six. Charge EX3 kick with a plus zero low. That's a great block. <laughs> your next attack this turn gets plus one damage for each resource symbol it shares with your character. That's legit. Your next attack this turn gets minus one difficulty. What a great setup card. Another launching whip strike. Another whistle. Another massive blow. And massive size. The massive pack. Alright, let's go crack the next pack. Another aerial recon. All right, we got Bayako. He's a 538, thickest boy. Air, earth, fire. Uh, e once per turn. If you have 30 or more cards in your discard pile, add one card from your discard pile to the top of your deck. Nice. Discard the top three cards of your deck. Your uh, attack gets a damage bonus equal to the highest printed difficulty on a foundation in your staging area. So with that massive size, you can be guaranteeing five damage. E, your attack. Discard top three cards of your deck. Your opponent flips one foundation. So you're flipping their whole board. Nice. I like it. Then we have another Prism of Seven. And a Keiko Slap. Keiko Slap. A 4-3-3, three, three, Fury Reversal. <laughs> Pretty hilarious art. Too low block. This card ignores progressive difficulty during your opponent's turn, so that's even better as a uh, reversal. If this attack deals damage, your opponent's next attack this turn gets plus 3 difficulty. Ooh. And your next attack this turn gets minus 2 difficulty. So you are really threatening the uh, reversal plan there. Alright, and we got a Keiko's Aid. It's a 2... Uh, Diff, 5 control, the 3 high. R flip, after you block an attack, your opponent's next attack this turn gets plus 2 difficulty. Beautiful. I've been told to count how many of these I end up with. I got a spirit charge kick. The Yoko spirit, it's a 2 diff, 5, with a plus 3 mid. Foundation. Your reversal gets plus 3 speed on a commit. If this attack is completely blocked, it still does 1 damage. Oh, that's nice. Another Voice of Reason, another Jagan Binding. All right, let's go next pack. All right, we're leading off with a character card. Nice, got a Suzaku. It's a 720. After you block with a card named Suzaku, add it to your staging area and gain three vitality. Wonderful stacking. Your gauge attack gets plus seven speed, or plus, X or plus X damage or plus X speed. X equals the number of characters in your staging area. So with all your gauge attacks, you get to just benefit from that. And first E, discard the top three, discard three attached characters from this attack to get plus seven speed or seven damage. So you can be stacking huge bonuses if you can stack. And that have the ability to recycle them. That's really cool. We got some Tiger Claws. Again. And a deflection swing. It's a 4 3 3 reversal with a two block mid uh, weapon. Add the top card of your deck to your staging area face down. 
add one face down foundation from your staging area to your hand. So you can pick up those things. This attack was played as a reversal. It gains all the enhanced uh, abilities printed on the blocked attack. Oh, that's very cool. And a ultra rare spirit sword thrust. It's a 5-5-5 five, five, five with no block. Charge desperation for EX2 weapon. Add up to three face down foundations from your staging area to your hand. This attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage for each foundation added this way. Nice. That's really great way to stack your hand back up with attacks given his game plan. And Kuwabara E. Add one foundation from your hand to your staging area, face up or face down. That's great. Love to see it. Another healing powers. Our voice of reason. Our lightning torture. Second saintly beast. I have a sword. It's a 1-5 with a plus 3 mid, or plus 3 low. Uh, R commit. After your attack deals damage, add one face down foundation from your staging area to your hand. Damn. Crowbar, a very on theme. And a launching whip strike. Alright, let's open this next one. Toughest Punk in Junior High. 2 5, 3 mid. R flip. If before you take damage from an attack, reduce the damage you would take by 3. Alright, nice and pretty there. Rapid Speed Slash. 4, 4 low, 4. Breaker 1, EX3 weapon with plus 1 mid block. E, draw one card or add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Only playable if you have at least one momentum. That's very great at stacking things through. Dig it. Another deflection swing. And a rare beast summoning. Four, three, five, mid. Ally safe, stun one. E, lose four vitality. Add one copy of beast summoning from your discard pile to your hand. So you can grab another one with this first one. Uh, if you have 30 or more cards in your discard pile, ready with one printed 3, 4, or 5 difficulty foundation that has not been ready this combat phase. So you can ready that massive size and use it again. Beautiful. Another healing powers. A bat strike. 4, 3, 4 with a, as being a low. That's a fury weapon with a plus 1 low block. This attack deals damage. Your opponent loses X vitality. X equals the number of cards they discarded this turn. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty cool with that gimmick. I dig it. Inhuman Speed. It's a zero five. Uh, three low block. Our commit after your opponent plays an ability that gains vitality, cancel its effects. Your opponent loses two vitality. No one's healing here. And you e commit your attack. It's plus X speed, where X equals your momentum maximum three. Very cool. Lightning Torture. And another protecting Yukina. And friends and rivals. Yeah, that's a great card with the ability to make them commit two again. Alright, next pack. That my third deflection swing. Energy absorption. It's a two five with a three low block. Uh Discard the top three cards at your deck. If you have more vitality than your opponent, this attack gets plus or minus two damage. Our response, make a four check. If you take vitality from an unblocked attack, gain one vitality. Only playable if your hand size is five or less. Neat. Dropping everything. Bug spray again. And a rare true identity. Two five, unique. F commit. Your checks to play attacks get plus one for the rest of the turn. Oh, that's that's wonderful. No wonder it's so unique. Uh, Rando E. Your attack gets plus one speed and plus one damage. Playable while committed. Wow. Love that card. Very Tokoyami-esque. Massive blow. Massive size. Nice to see them together again. Friends and rivals. Inhuman speed. Second saintly beast. And I have a sword. All right, let's go next pack. All right, got our place of deflection swings. Another energy absorption. 
third hate fish and a rare a son's love three five no block first form commit draw one card your opponent may add the top card of their deck to their momentum if they do draw a card interesting love it uh e remove this tack loses safe playable while committed all right so you get to draw some extra and you can actually make it so you can play reversals legit another whistle another spirit charge kick Another healing powers another bat strike learn human speed and a lightning torture all right Another Tiger Claws. Genkai's Training. 1-5, no block. Foundation. E-Commit. If you attempt to block this attack with a card that shares at least two resource symbols with your character, your block fighter, my fighter, becomes a plus zero. Very good. Uh, discard one momentum. Ready this foundation. Playable while committed. So you can turn all your blocks into plus zero as long as you have momentums. And you're playing stuff within your your wheelhouse. Well, that's very legit. Aerial Recon. And a rare Twirling Whiplash. It's a 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Reversal. Weapon. Combo Reversal. Uh, if you get that reversal into a reversal, Combo E. The attack gains multiple 2, and multiple copies of the attack gain the reversal keyword for the rest of the turn. Very legit. If this attack deals damage, your attacks this turn get plus one speed. All right. Dig it. Sadist. 2-4, no block. If your opponent's at desperation, this card gets minus two difficulty. Becoming a zero. Legit. First form, destroy. Your opponent is considered to be at desperation until the end of the turn. First form, flip. If your opponent is at desperation, draw two cards. You may add one card from your hand to momentum. Oh, damn. That can really set up a turn. Jagan Binding. A human Hunter. 1-5 with a 3 mid. Or 3 low. Uh, our commit after your attack deals damage. Your next attack this turn gets plus 2 speed and plus 1 damage. Interesting. Another Yoko Spirit. Another Protecting Yukina. And a Massive Blow. Alright. Next pack. Another Genkai's training. No, right. Got a lightning shot. Again. Another Jagan form. And a rare reduction. Three, one, one. Three, breaker two reversal. With a one mid. After this card is in your card pool, your other attacks get plus two speed, plus two damage, and your opponent is considered to be at desperation. Damn. Uh, if this attack is not blocked, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. So you just send this poke and get free momentum and set up a big turn. Dig it. Sap and Saintly Beast, massive size, massive blow. Getting all his stuff again. A reborn human. All right, this card does not count towards progressive difficulty to play attacks. Uh, this After an attack deals by damage, gain one vitality. Interesting. So it's, oh, as a response from card pool, yeah. So you can just be healing, you're designed to be healing mid-turn with it. Interesting card. And a whistle and a spirit charge kick. All right, let's get this next one. Another Prism 7. Partners in Crime. Another one of those. Another Bug Spray. And the Eyes of Hiei Rare. It's a 3-6 with a 2 high. Foundation. E Commit. Your opponent reveals one random card in their hand. Look at the top card of both decks. Change the zone of this attack to any other zone. So you get to know what everyone's about to check. See a card in their hand. And then change zones. Very interesting. Love it. Another life force thread. Another reborn human. Sadist. Jagan binding. Human hunter. And the Yoko spirit. Alright. Hmm. 
Another Jagan form. Another Toughest Punk. Another Rapid Speed Slash. And a Ultra Rare Boulder Barrage Ganbu. Ganbu. Five, four, eight. Big numbers. One check. Well, it's interesting to see that. It's a Flash Slam. All right, let's see why this is a 1R. After you play this attack, add the top card of your discard pile to your card pool face down as a multiple copy of this attack. The multiple copy gains flash until the end of turn. Discard the multiple copy after it resolves. All right, so you're just throwing f two four, mi four mid eights at him with no enhanced window. Yeah, I dig it. That's pretty cool. Uh, Reborn Human. Spirit Slash. Jagan Binding. Spirit Courage Kick. Launching Whip Strike. And a Flute. Alright, definitely got our playset of Hate Fishes. That's, I think, our third energy absorption. And another Precise Blow. And a rare Crimson Sparrow. Two five, two low. R or card pool. If your attack deals damage, ready one foundation that has not been ready this combat phase. All right. And then E, discard one card. This attack gets plus one or minus two speed. Interesting. Uh, not sure I love it, but maybe there's more reasons to use it than I'm aware of right now. Friends and Rivals, Reborn Human, Second Saintly Beast, Bat Strike, Sadist, and a Protecting Yukina. Alright, let's go to the next one. Energy Absorption, definitely got my place out of that now. Next to Hate Fish. Ooh, Spirit Charge Punch, 444, four, four, with a plus one mid. Charge Punch Reversal. The next attack played this turn gets plus three or minus three damage. Wow, love it. Set up their turn, make sure, on uh, reversal, make sure that they just don't have a chance to do much to you. Dig it. Sword Get Longer. 666, six, six, rare. Desperation 4, safe weapon. Uh, good enhance. Add the top X cards of your deck to your staging area. Face down committed. X equals 8 minus your printed hand size. So with uh, Kuwabara, this is 3. Then you get, so you just get 3 foundations committed. But you can pick them back up on Kuwabara. So that's legit. That's some big numbers. Love it. Another Keiko's Aid. Human Hunter, Spirit Charge Kick, Healing Powers, Sadist, and a Spirit Slash. Alright. Got a Precise Blow, Aerial Recon, another Baiku, and a High Spirit Awareness. Rare, 2 5, no block. E opponent's turn. Add one fa flip, add one face down foundation from your staging area to your hand. See another way to get your face downs back in hand. And Kuwabara response. Discard one momentum. After a deadlock ability is played, cancel it. Well, that's gorgeous. Just go, nah, we're not taking deadlock. Another massive size. Spirit slash. Friends and rivals. I have a sword, bat strike, and flute. All right, next one. Energy Absorption, Bug Spray, Partners in Crime, and a rare, the Pilot of the River Styx. 3 5 with a 3 high. Each ability on this card is only playable if your opponent has discarded a card this turn. Not too hard to do with this, uh, with her setup. R Commit. Half your, this year attack deals damage, your opponent loses 2 vitality. Legit. And remove. After non character responsibility is played, cancel it. Always love cancels. Voice of Reason, Yoko Spirit, Third Keiko's Aid, Life Force Thread, 
Reborn Human, and a Spirit Slash. Alright. Stacking these Aerial Recons. Another Suzaku. Another Tiger Claws. And a rare Thunderous Roar. 3-5 with a plus 4 mid block. Uh, e commit. Your attack gets plus 1 speed for each of your opponent's face downs. If you have 30 or more cards in your discard pile, it gets an additional plus 1 speed for each of your opponent's face downs. Alright, perfect way to punish the crap out of uh, Kuwabara. Damn. It's a ton of speed there. Love it. Sadist, Spirit Slash, Second Saintly Beast, Massive Size, Massive Blow, and a Reborn Human. All right. Another Partners in Crime, another Kuwabara, another Lightning Shot, and an Ultra Rare Spiritual Shooting Ring. Two, two, uh, two, two mid block, five control asset. Unique. Uh, e commit. Your opponent adds the top card of their discard pile to their card pool. So just some nice card. Uh, oh, e commit flip. So a one time uh, card clog. Or e remove. Double this ranged attacks damage. Damn. Damn. That could be a. That could be real hype. Spirit Charge Kick, Bat Strike, Yoko Spirit, Massive Blow, Protecting Yukina, and a Lightning Torture. <laughs> Alright, next one. Got a Precise Blow, Lightning Shot, another Partners in Crime, Endless Determination. A cool bar rare. Too f oh my god. My ability to hold everything has fallen apart. <laughs> and listen, all right, so it's a response once per turn after this foundation is committed due to a cost. Ready it. Play below committed. Yeah, it's always nuts I've found in this game. One E once per turn. Add the top card of your momentum to your staging area. Face down committed. Nice way to just recycle attacks with the Kuwabara strategy. Dig it. Friends and rivals. I have a sword, bat strike, flute, or whistle, life force thread, reborn hunter, partners in crime. All right. Another partners in crime, tiger claws. Genkai's training. The Spirit Gun. Ooh. Five, five, six, mid. Ranged safe. Yusuke E. Changes tax zone to a higher low. Never bad. E. Destroy one of your opponent's foundations. Straight up. Yeah. Never bad to see that kind of stuff. Love it. I have a sword. Launching whip strike. Fourth Keiko's aid. Human hunter. Spirit charge kick. And a healing powers. All right, next to last pack. Let's see what we find. Another aerial recon, precise blow, prism of seven, and a spirit detective rear. Three five no block. R remove remove one card from your discard pile with the word spirit in its name. After your opponent plays an enhanced ability printed on an attack, cancel it. Love cancels. Our commit at a second copy of attack is played this turn. Seal it. Oh, that's a nice way to stop people from doing the same thing over and over. Dig it. Human Hunter, Healing Powers, Fifth Keiko's Aid, Voice of Reason, Negan Binding, Have a Sword. And last pack. Let's see what we got. Spirit Charge Punch, Genkai's Training, Lightning Shot. And a hiding in plain sight. It's a 2 5 with a 3 high. Add this card to your momentum. If your opponent is at desperation, add the top card of your deck to your momentum. Damn, that can be 2 momentum. Legit. Protecting Yukina. Friends and rivals. Voice of Reason. Yoko Spirit. Sixth Keiko's Aid. And a Life Force Thread. Alright. Didn't get a great mix of characters. 
But I got some. Actually, literally two of each of three of them. So I'm missing quite a bit. But, uh, looks like the themes are very solidly put together here in this game. This set. And, uh, maybe I'll pick up some more when, uh, for whenever I do get to play some standard. Legit. All right. Thanks, folks. Have a wonderful night.